good morning, everybody. My name is Aaron. Um, I grew up my whole life with Catholicism as my family's religion of choice. Um, it was very common where I was from, so I was happy to do it. I did all the steps that I took, confirmation, catechism, communion, um, the whole nine yards. The thing with that was I never truly asked myself um, if I was close to God while doing that. I still lived in sin and no repentance. And I thought by, by doing those steps, um, that's what made me saved. In 2021, my family and I moved to Texas I had no clue what direction my life was going. Um, I was completely lost. I made decisions that would result in me lacking morally, um, made friends that ignited a world of sin around me that I, I had already partaken in. So it was very easy for me to just sit there because people were doing it with me. I found myself depressed. I found myself looking for various outlets, partying, drinking, just involving myself in activities God would frown upon. I would go to bed uh, crying, and when I woke up, I would do the same thing. Nothing I did would help relieve my pain. One day, I randomly thought to myself, I needed to have a talk with God. And looking back on it, it wasn't so random. That one day turned into weeks, and those weeks into months. And then I found myself going to church, hearing the gospel, and feeling my heart grow. On June 24th, my, I came home from work, sat on my couch, and was compelled to confess all of my sins and tell the Lord how much I wanted to live for Him and not myself anymore. With my surprise, I broke down, but broke down with joy. Joy that I no longer had to live for myself, but I, had to, I would live for Jesus Christ. I started to see the sinful activities I was doing. I no longer had the desire for them. And one that was extremely evident to see was the joyfulness in all circumstances of life. Whichever storm I was going through in the moment, I was joyful to go through them because it would result in me becoming closer to God. A verse I'd like to share with you today is from Galatians chapter two, verse 20. I have been crucified with Christ it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I live now, I live by faith in the Son of God who gave his life for me and loves me. In July of 2023, I found myself at Compass Bible Church, a church full of unity and love for the Lord. I started going to life group and men's breakfast. And after this, I will serve as much as the Lord asked me to. In addition to that, I also start, started to see prayers actually happen in my life, which was amazing to see. I started to tell everybody who would listen how great God is, and eventually God put a light in my life, that being my girlfriend and her family, the Jaders. They shined so brightly that it was really infectious to me. While I was a quote-unquote baby Christian, um, it was very encouraging to see a family like that and it just encouraged me to grow in my faith even more. I thank God for pulling me from my worldly desires and bringing me to understand His. Another verse I'd like to share with you today is from Matthew chapter 16, verse 25. For whoever would save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. I pray my testimony today has at least convicted one of you and you decide to give your life for the Lord as I have today.
And it is upon your profession of faith that I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.